So, Michael, thank you for chatting to me here at the Melbourne Art Fair Thanks today. For me. No, pleasure. So, I should have start by saying happy birthday for next week. Thank you. Quick question: Did you imagine? when you were a small boy, that you would celebrate turning 40 with a Rolls Royce and gorgeous <laughs> models and chocolate in the middle of Melbourne's Royal Exhibition Hall. Yes, you yes did? I did. That is impressive <laughs> well, no, no, I, you, you sort of you, you, you think, I, I couldn't imagine yeah. you know, doing something like that, yeah. but um, I don't know, I, I did I did hope that you know you would do something special. Yeah, something special to mark yeah. the occasion. And so, tell me about the performance. I sadly wasn't here last night, so I didn't have the grand unveiling, but okay. I, I understand this is your first performance work. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. how did how did you approach that? How did it come about? Um, I, I'm, I'm not even a huge fan of performance. Yeah. I've, it's not something I've ever I've ever really thought about. But in a strange way, I think my my practice has contained a performative element where yeah. I feel like there's this performance between what I make and and. Um, what I'm interested in in my life and the life that I lead and how I paint and all of these things yeah. are almost this kind of performance between each other now and it's sort of progressively becoming yeah. more and more that those those little worlds are sort of imploding yeah. and but also the, the paintings that I've been making in recent years feel like they're a kind of documentation of a performance yeah. that's taken place so if you imagine these these very confected still lifes or or interiors that 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 I think as, as an audience, you're, you're aware that this artist has mucked around with these things yeah. and is, is playing in their, in their space or in their home. Yeah. And then that creative moment passes and the rest of it is a, is a kind of um, long rendering process. Yeah. So it's, it's almost this, 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 these two modes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's funny actually, got looking to the other works that you've got in the fair, that those extraordinary paintings and and the fact that you work from tableau, as you say, and there are the buckets of flowers down there. I'm not sure if that was a deliberate thing, but one of the things that struck me looking at the, the painting of the upside down vase was the smell of the daffodils. I mean, obviously they're yeah. not daffodils in the painting, but it was an interesting sensory addition. Yeah, to yeah, the, to it is a heady, heady mix downstairs. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's really. It's, we we it's wanted to. I wanted to include some some floral arrangements yeah. in, in the performance, and and the daffodils are obviously a, a narcissus um, yeah. uh, connection, but. The, the John Quills are sort of a nice uh, perfume. Yeah, they're beautiful. Uh, but we, we just, I, I bought armfuls of them at the markets yesterday yeah. just in case anything would yeah. happen. So the, uh, the the extras are sort of around, around the stand yeah, at the yeah, moment. Yeah, but. yeah, well, they add a, a lovely fragrance oh, good. element to the experience. <laughs> Adds to it. So I'm just wondering, I mean, obviously, your, your work is often discussed in terms of, of beauty and the attainment of perfection and looking often around ideas of fashion. I'm just wondering. How you understand beauty? What? How you um, would define it? I've long been fascinated, I suppose, with yeah. with beauty and um, uh, both in creating something very beautiful, but but also um, criticizing beauty or, or commenting yeah. on beauty. And I think still life does that in, in a in a fascinating way. I mean, yeah. it sort of mu uh, documents the the decay of something and the the, the loss of beauty. Yeah. And, um, the performance I think fed into that yeah. last night. I mean, I've. I'm turning 40 next week, and that the, the performance was called 40. Yeah. Um, and it, it marks the, the, the passing of my own time and these 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 two you know superstar models that, yeah. that were performing f for, for me or yeah. representing me in, yeah. the, in this piece. Um, they they together um, are now my age, and I yeah. think it's, it's sort of a, a, a nice thing to play with that yeah. that um, you know, th these guys are in their, their prime at the moment. They're these sort of perfect yeah. specimens of yeah. you know of, of, of manhood and. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm interested in those those ideas yeah. of, of um, loss of beauty, loss yeah. of youth. And yeah. So in coming back to the performance, how do, I mean, just in terms of the logistics, I mean, you had this idea yes. of have, bringing this performative element that happens off canvas yes. to to the fair. How did I mean? How did you approach the models? How did the collaboration with Rolls Royce happen? How did it all yeah. as a creative process? Well, there are a few together? different things that just started to, yeah. to, to lock into place, but. Um, in, in a completely different way, Rolls Royce had approached me uh, to um, take part in some in conversation uh, events about um, art and luxury. I've, yeah. I've long had this fascination with, with luxury and, yeah. and decadence and you know, consumption. Yeah. Um, and I expressed an interest in showing a car and doing a, um, having a partnership yeah. with, with a big corporate body like yeah. that. And so we, we continued down that, that road and yeah. the car was included in, in the piece. Yeah. And, um, 
So, so the car is, is very much central to the performance and it's the, 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 the gold yes. coins obviously came, came out yeah. of it. Are there more gold coins floating around somewhere? There, there are more. Well, there will be another two performances. But no, not, not with the okay. Stanmark boys, but okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Good to know. An, another model tomorrow. Okay. One of the other works that's downstairs is a photograph of, of your daughters in the back of this magnificent vehicle. Yeah. And your daughter Phoebe has been in a lot of your works and there's been discussion, I think, I don't know if you said it or if it's been attributed to you that, that you see these works as a form of self-portrait. And yeah. I'm curious to know know your thoughts about that, if, you, if, you, if yeah. that is how you see these works. I, I think Robert Leonard said that so much yeah. of what I make is a, is a kind of self-portrait. Yeah. And I think the paintings of Phoebe are probably yeah. not an exception yeah. to that. And I think we, we project so much of ourselves onto our yeah. kids. and. I, I work with Phoebe more than um, my other kids. She's yeah. just really, really into being, yeah. you know, photographed or, she's or quite, appearing she's in work. She's quite self-conscious. She's quite self. Well, she's, yeah. she's, she's just really, she's quite, she's just very good at it. She's, yeah. she's very vain. Yes. But when I when I photograph her, she's she's very very into getting it right and yeah. striking a pose and yeah. doing all of these things. Um, her, her younger sister Olympia is just just hopeless. Yeah. When when we were posing the kids in the car, yeah. this incredibly confected contrived yeah. scene that you know I was trying to make look like this this snapshot of everyday home yeah. life yeah school um, run. Phoebe just does it you know yeah. she's I, I said oh, I want you to look like you're doing your homework and yeah. she's like oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna do this dad and yeah. whereas her sister will look at the camera and will you know be a little bit stiff and yeah. you'll have to position yeah. Olympia and she's a bit of a tomboy she's just <laughs> she's, she's not into the whole yeah. you know muse thing which is which is fascinating yeah. I, I love yeah. the kids are so she's because I <laughs> I'm just really curious and interested in her role in your work and yeah. as a you know as this sort of collaborative force or a muse and I'm wondering how I mean you say she's she's just a natural like how aware she is of of her role in your work and her and her contribution to it. Um, I think she's very aware. She yeah. she she like she even comes up with things that she would like to do. Yeah. But um, I've always thought of Phoebe as almost me outside of me we're yeah. very similar people we're, yeah. we're similar moody kind of creatures around the house yeah. and it, it is interesting when when I photograph her and I, I see this little girl doing these things yeah. I find it um, compelling and confronting yeah. as a father at the same time and and I think that that is the the thing that I most want to represent yeah. this the, the changes that I see in, in front of me yeah. with this this little person that I love that I'm all I can do as an artist is, is yeah. just to just to execute that. Yeah, and in terms of sort of some of those ideas and sentiments, how do they or how do they carry into other aspects of your that don't involve don't involve your girls? Um, trying to capture a moment and going back to those ideas of of trying to attain something, something beautiful. Yeah, I think I think what you said there. I'm I'm interested in somehow containing that yeah. fleeting moment and. Um, I don't know, I think my work documents time and the passing of time and, um, you know, it's the slice of my life and I, I often will, um, in, in the title of the works that involve Phoebe, for example, I will often um, use her age or something like that. I'm sort of interested in this the, um, documentation of this little life. And, and so what what's coming up next for you? Next week. Um, so I'm, I'm off to Octo um, New York in October. Oh, fabulous. For a for show? The, no, no, for the, um, the, the Osco residency. Fantastic. So I'll be there October to mid-January. Wow. And what are you planning to do there? Well, um, I'm also going to show at the Hong Kong Art Fair not long after that. So, so I will be Work. working when okay. I'm in New York. Yeah. <laughs> I've just found out. So, um, I mean, and I love that living and working somewhere else yeah. and experiencing a different studio. Yeah. And um, I'm looking forward to that. Michael. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thank you for that insight into your work and I'm going to hang around and see the performance tomorrow. Okay, very good. Get my hands on some of that chocolate. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you.